Hello and welcome gorgeous Taurus to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you, of course. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. So let's take a look at your first card here. And so the card is Awakened Awareness, and I'm being drawn to the eye here. So this really speaks symbolically to you being able to see past falseness, to see past so someone's mask. I, I, I have a sense that you already can see a bit beyond what you're being told or what is up front, what is being shown to you. But I do feel that this week you're going to um, understand the full breadth of it, the, the depth, the, mm, the what's really going on. So quite a revealing energy this week. You will see someone's true colors. You will be able to see the truth of the matter no matter what this situation is for you. Okay, so that's the energy that I'm sensing here. Awakened awareness to something, something important that's going on around you that you do have a slight awareness of at the moment, but it's definitely going to be broadened. You're going to have a full understanding. And your next card from this deck is healing. So perhaps this awareness is actually around healing. Okay, so that might resonate for you. An awakened understanding, awareness of healing for yourself or maybe for someone close to you. This is physical healing, emotional healing, as well as mental, psychological and spiritual healing. Beautiful. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit. Angels and guides, ring through a message for Taurus. And we have the bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. This is a great sign, Horus. This is a gift from heaven. This rebirth, this re-emerging energy, a reignition of a passion, a desire, a dream. There's something like this I feel bubbling beneath the surface for you. And it is assured there's going to be a renewal, a rebirth, a transformative energy is around you at the moment in an area of your life. So place this energy in your life where it fits. Now, I am being drawn to the five. And what I'm going to say about the five is that it is an unstable energy and it does represent change. So things might be changing rapidly at the moment or very soon. And you have the two. I'm being drawn to this. So I'm going to say that it might be to do with a partnership, an alliance, a deal, a handshake, um, a contract, something like this. Okay. And life is speeding up. Exactly. There is a lot of changes that's going to be taking place very soon. And life is going to be speeding up for you. Something that has been stagnant or not moving is in fact going to start to take off. And things are going to get moving for you. So that's a good sign if you've been waiting on a change. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit. Angels and guides, ring through a message for Taurus, please. Boundaries. Boundaries are important. Yes. So you're going to have to, um, I feel, take particular attention, pay particular attention to a person who might be crossing your boundaries. Now, you might know straight away who this person is, or perhaps you're going to have an awakened awareness to, to who this person is and what boundaries they are crossing. So I see a lot of strength here. With these two cards, I see a lot of strength coming from you toward this situation to protect your boundaries and to make sure that no one is able to trespass and encroach on your energies. You're going to receive symbols. Uh, symbols here um, through dreams, perhaps. That's often how spirit comes through. Um, so dream journaling would be very helpful for you, Taurus, this week. 
Are you going to see signs, symbols from a past over loved one? I do you see that for you. Um, so keep a lookout for that. Maybe your loved one has a calling card. Um, that's a specific sign that you know comes from them and you will see that this week. So there's a message here from Spirit. Maybe around healing as well. Okay, we have healing above this card. So symbol signs, omen messages from spirit and it's connected to healing. Guidance for Taurus, please. Spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Taurus, please. Okay, this one here. Intuition. Yes, listen to your intuition, of course. Now, this can be harder said than done because there might be um, a circumstance where your mind is trying to tell you something or wanting to take control. And you're listening to your mind rather than your heart. And your heart is where it's at. And that's where your intuition lies. So listen to your heart. We also have another two here. Um, so we have the two over here as well. Uh, so I'm going to say that there's definitely something going on in a relationship of importance over the next week. And we have double two, 22. Yes. So there's definitely a relationship, contract agreement, something like this, a partnership that is taking focus. Uh, now the shadow self is coming into play. So going back to the very first card, I feel that this is a mirroring energy here. So the last card here is the shadow self and the first card is awakened awareness. So I do feel that if anyone's shadow self is coming out to play, perhaps where you're needing to put in boundaries, um, that could be the case. You are going to have a full awareness of what this is, of who this person is, of what they're trying to do. And... Um, that in fact what you're dealing with is someone's shadow self okay so i do see that mirroring for some now you might be going through the dark night of the soul yourself your shadow self might be coming out to play so being aware of your ego being aware of this energy in yourself is very important as well this week so let's see what this deck reveals guidance for taurus please spirit angels and guides bring through a message for taurus so we do have a card that's slipped out there discontent and boredom so what area of life is spirit talking about here for you taurus where are you discontent where are you feeling boredom where do you where do you feel that what what area of life feels not satisfying to you that's the area of life spirits talking about here they're recognizing that there may be some discontent some boredom some dissatisfaction in some way the spirit is helping you through this energy and it's connected into healing so there is a possible healing for this situation this is the devil so there may be a capricorn in your life perhaps and the devil symbolically represents temptation you may be tempted to fall back into old habits or into old patterns with somebody it might not be the best thing to do you know and you have this a lot of strength this week for awareness of this as well so you so i like this because even though you have this energy around you you also have the energy of heightened awareness and it's interesting this card of the devil is right next to the rebirth so it does look like there's going to be a transformation around this energy of the the devil the temptation the entrapment um you know there might be a situation where you're feeling like you can't move where it's restrictive where you're feeling bound well it's right next to the bat so i'm going to say that there is definitely a, a situation of change that's happening with this and that's that's true as well if you feel that you're um, feeling closed in and trapped, not able to say something or change a situation. You know, it could be connected to this fall, the discontent and boredom energy also. Okay, so we have shadow. So there's definitely a shadow side that is coming out to play. We have shadow self coming through here and the shadow card from this deck. So there's definitely an energy of shadow. You're, re you're recognizing your own shadow 
um, but also you are you're picking up and, and realizing that you might be dealing with someone else's ego. There may be some obstacles and challenges. Well, of course, there's going to be if you're dealing with your own shadow, um, with your ego or with someone else's. So, yes, this is what I feel it's connected to obstacles and challenges. But, you know, things are going to if you listen to your heart, there's going to be a positive change here. We do have another five. So things are kind of uh, changing and maybe something's going to be shaken up in a way to get things moving in the right direction for you. Okay, so that might mean moving on. Perhaps you've already moved on from a situation. This could be an energy that's recently happened or it's coming in for you. So there's a, yeah, an energy of moving on. So place that energy where it feels right for you. And then we have foundations and achievements and we have the home environment. We have, um, a sense of contentment which is good it's actually quite we have that mirroring effect again showing up for you with the two fours here and one is discontent and boredom so that's where you're starting and then you're actually laying a good foundation and there's an achievement there's happiness success and a celebration and a sense of contentedness so there's definitely that mirroring going on there spirit showing you showing you that you're moving from that energy toward this energy so i really like that Let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So you can check in with your own intuition. You can trust your instincts and see how this resonates for you personally, this answer. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.